Welcome back to welcome back to the Power Talk Show with me, Dominic. I have a few comments that have come on our Facebook page, and I want to thank you for keeping these comments coming. They're quite a number, but so I'll just uh, read a few that are there. Good evening. This is Eman James, my fan from Mombasa. Kaka Dominic Tukondani as always. I'm just following the show keenly. Siwezi kubonyeza kidude. Asante sana, Eman James. Cyrus Muti anasema mungu na wapenda sana. Asante sana, Cyrus Muti Saira. Then uh, Yata C. Victor, God is there for everyone. Disability is not inability. Tuned in from Eldama Ravine. Thank you so much. Satanium. Dibabzi Christopher, may Lord comfort them all. Uh, Moffat, may God comfort them. J James Che, disability is not uh, inability. Kirinyaga Kia, J. Geres Tune. This is my uh, Francis Karish. And then uh, Migos Rapa. Yes, is to have confidence. Kayole tuned. Okay. So keep uh, those uh, comments uh, coming. I'll be reading them as we go by. So if you have a question also you would like to ask uh, Richard Bukachi, feel free to send that. Uh, if you have a question that you would like to ask Bukachi or a comment, uh, please do feel, feel to do so on our Facebook page at y 254 channel. And we're going to be reading out your comments. And if you remember, you're talking to Richard Bukachi about the power of hope. He is telling us his, sto his story since having uh, uh, suffered an accident and having living with disability. And uh, he's sharing his story about how he went about that. So right now I'm going to give it back to Chris Judah. And then we continue with the conversation with uh, Richard Bukachi. So don't go away. It's aligning with the topic of today. I hope you'll be blessed. Ajalishi una kazi ya kibanda Mwingine anandesha Range Rover Ajalishi una toka kibera Mwingine anaishi ya parunda The main point is that you are special and unique yeah, yeah. The main point is that you are special and unique Oh oh eh yeah. So are you going around you? See ya pata someone special like you Nimezunguka zunguka See ya pata someone special like you Yeah Are you going around you? See ya pata someone special like you Yeah Nimezunguka zunguka Yeah yeah Jukila mtu ni wa maana Yeah So much important wa maana Whoa oh so much important wa mana yeah, yeah. Ati so much important wa mana yeah, yeah, yeah. So much important Doesn't matter if I'm black or white yeah. Doesn't matter if I'm rich or nice yeah. Doesn't matter if I'm poor or white Kitu chama ana we are special and unique yeah. Doesn't matter if I'm black or white yeah. Doesn't matter if I'm rich or nice yeah. Kitu chama ana we are special and unique So are you going around you? See ya pata someone special like you Nime zunguka zunguka See ya pata someone special like you Are you going around you? See ya pata someone special like you Nime zunguka zunguka Hey, 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 hey Jukila mtu ni wa maana Oh, jukila mtu ni wa maana So much important to kill him to new up So much important Kill him to new up So much important Even you who is watching us today Kill him to new up Where new up In spite of the experiences you have gone through in, in spite of whatever that you have right now or don't have The, the, the dignity that you have, the worth that you have is beyond your disability, is beyond what you don't have. It is in the fact that you are. And that's what we are celebrating you today. Celebrating the power of hope. And as I mentioned to you, please go to our Facebook page. And if you have a question to our guest today, Richard Bukachi, who is sharing with us the power of hope, how he has gone through an accident, living with disability. We are continuing the conversation. I'll be reading out your comments in a few. So welcome back to the shop. Thank you, sir. So uh, you've told us about how you got, how you got the accident, uh -huh. the challenge that you went through that, uh -huh. and uh, 
being told that we uh, his name is Jawa Yaji Ajiri Kiwete, as you mm. said. I've never mm. employed a Kiwete, uh, yeah. mm. a cripple. Uh, that's yeah. a, it's, it's, a very, a re it's a really derogative, it's a derogative as you say, term. You, know? yeah. and you can uh, say persons living with disability. With disability. Uh, the language is important. Kiwete in Indonesia. In Indonesia. Yeah. 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 Now, you, you mentioned that you went through depression. Correct. All right. Mm. Uh, could, could you share with us uh, mm. how it was like to be in depression? And yes. even more importantly, mm. how you found the strength to come out of it? Yes. Uh, first of all, in my heart, I had a lot of bitterness because when you lose something, like I was a breadwinner and for a man, there's nothing as bad as seeing yourself very helpless. Like I told you, my house had been broken into. The little things I remained mm. had been taken away. My wife cannot even afford food. Um, she came from the point of having a shop to actually uh, coming back in the house. And she started hawking. She would go to Moya, get rice, and, and uh, hawk around. When my son grew a bit, he was still in primary school, my son would carry that rice on his shoulder and get into matatus and sambaza everywhere. Actually, one of his shoulders pulled out because of that. Sorry. Okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, I can say he never enjoyed being a child. Okay? And... Um, one day, my wife had uh, gotten a, 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 a small shop, a mini shop, and was a maziwa, mkate, and things like that. I hadn't paid rent, because then I had paid rent when I was going to hospital seven months in advance. But I told you I stayed in hospital for long. Mm. When I came back, uh, the agent, the landlord had hired an agent, and I was back in area. So I told the landlord, just give me some time. I'm still trying to recover. I will pay you. The next thing the landlord did, he sent, uh, what do you call them, agents and auctioneers. So I'm sleeping in my house in, on a bed in the morning. I hear them roughing, you know, the way they open the doors and what, what, what. They're just taking things from a neighbor who had just given birth a few weeks ago. So they came to my house and they told me we have been sent to come and take your things because you've defaulted. I said, but I've talked to the landlord. They said, we don't care. So they were ready to start picking the things, but one of them, but before then, they had gone to the little shop, which was attached to the compound, mm. and literally pulled my wife out of the shop. Now, that is the only hope we had to get milk and to give us food. They pulled her in the middle of customers and they shut the door. So when they came to me now wanting to remove me, I said, you can remove me. If, if you've pulled my wife away, you can also remove me from the bed. Yeah? So I said, have you done this? They said, yes. But at that moment, there was some intervention. A pastor came and intervened. So we, we moved. I, mo I put my things on a handcart, Mkokoteni, to move to that house, that wooden house, which I later on was robbed. Now, when things became that bad, I cannot even reach where the toilet is. Because in a slum environment, there's not that luxury of a toilet mm. in the house. You have to go there. The toilet was down the river. I can't afford going for um, physiotherapy. I am in a lot of pain. By the way, I suffered a lot of physical pain. I would scream like a woman who is in labor. I, I have been to, I, I know I have two children, so I'm aware of that. Mm. I would scream. I would literally have an injection, anesthesia, kulala, mm. to just have a, uh, um, a, an, an x-ray. If, if I'm seated like this, you cannot turn me. I used to have what is called muscle pulls. They're called spasms. Mm. They would lift this leg up. Sometimes that a choi na funguka. Okay? Sometimes they would twist you like this and twist you. Some, some people say they're demons. So they would say I'm possessed. You see how people, mm. you know. I, I was a Christian all through, so I know what demons are and I know mm. what neurological problems are. Correct. So I went for another surgery again. So when I came back home, I was depressed. I felt... Like I was, I can use this analogy. I felt like I've been thrown in a swimming pool in the deep end and I never swam. That's how I felt helpless. But while I was going for the rehabilitation at the spinal injury hospital, I met a lady. She had been injured earlier than me. Her name is Bright. She's, she's my friend. But then when she tried to talk to me, I said, don't talk to me. I don't know you. Because of the depression you're going, yes, going through. Because yeah. in depression you have anger. Yes, correct. You have denial. Mm. You have uh, confusion. Yes. You are projecting on people. Anybody trying to come your way, you throw. Even my wife, the Black Rose, I gave her a lot of difficult time at that period. I would refuse to wash. 
Because I, I would ask, I'm washing going where? To do what? I am a finished man. I did not shave. I never looked at a mirror for about five years because I feared when I looked at the mirror, it would show me who I am at then. I didn't know that was depression. I never used to sleep. In fact, there was some medication I was given to try and help me calm and sleep, and I almost got addicted to it. I also had pain medication, uh, I'm forgetting the name, which was a very high dose. Those type of medications, doctors call them dangerous drugs, so mm. they keep the keys, they keep them under lock. Because I could not stand pain, I could not sleep. I could not wash, I didn't want to see people. If you walked in my house, and my wife said, I would ask, amekuja kunichekelea? Anataka kuniona kwa nini? I never went even outside to bask. Because I thought people would see me and wonder, why is this man not walking? And the worst of it, I was put on a wheelchair. So wheelchair for me at that time was an in, like an incarceration, kama niko kwa jela. But I didn't realize that a wheelchair is a mobility tool hmm. to help you access your movement. Some of, most of my friends ran away. My pastor was a very helpful person. I will bless God forever for him. I come from a church called Gospel Centers International. Mm. Gospel Centers International. Mm -hmm. His name is Bishop Mulema. He stood by me. He stuck by me. Helped me to pay most of the bills now when I was struggling. And there was another bishop also called Bishop Kefa of the Redeemed Church. He actually gave his car. Hired a driver to make sure that I go for physiotherapy. So when I met this lady after discharge. The bright, bright, the bright, bright, bright now. Huh? Bright is a born again mm. Christian. She had had an injury earlier. She was, Similar to yours? Yes, mm -hmm. but hers was a road traffic. She tried to talk to me, but I would tell her, I'm not interested in you. Mm. I have a wife. Why are you talking to me? Because I didn't want anybody to talk. I didn't want anybody to, to know me because they would not accept me. Mm. My esteem came down. down. Mm. But she kept on probing me. So I wondered, okay, tell me, what exactly is your problem? So she said, I don't have a problem. I just want to talk to you. I didn't realize she was born again and she was a counselor. So I went through counseling. Then the spinal injury hospital where I was never had a counseling unit. So the doctor would, the physiotherapist would come and say, I want you to pull this thing 10 times. And I would ask them, why? Why should I pull it? Then they say, okay, come on, ajifanya mjuaji, utaka. Then they say, dimu gut, ebu tunajaribu kukuvuta, ibu tunayanda mazoezi, nasema mazoezi ya nini. So I was very confrontative, okay? So she, it helped me to understand that I was projecting my anger to people, that I was depressed, that I was, I was a bitter man, that I was running away from my family, that I was even hurting my wife, who is supposed to be my friend, a very good girl. And my wife helped me a lot. My wife, that's why I say family is very important. And I tell people, make good relationships with people. Kama ni kazini, kanisani, nyumbani. If you have a wife, love her. If you have issues, talk about it. If you have siblings, my wife was a very good, one of the most important social support that I had, apart from the uh, counseling lady who helped me out. I came back and apologized to my wife that I was angry with her. She would have chosen to walk out. And I, I, I may surprise you that 70%, these are statistics that was done about 2005, 70% of people with spinal cord injuries die five years after discharge. That's because of depression. Pressure source. You see, I'm sitting on this cushion. Mm. This cushion is worth 15,000 shillings. Wow. A cushion for sitting. It has air inside. Okay? Mm -hmm. If you sit on an ordinary cushion like yours, because you're not feeling. Yeah. You see, when you sit, you keep on turning. Correct, correct. Okay? Yeah. As we just, because you're not feeling, you develop what is called a pressure sore. Mm -hmm. A pressure sore starts eating you because of poor blood flow. Mm -hmm. By the time you're seeing a scar on outside, it was undone. That is six months in hospital lying like this. Okay? Apart from not just walking, uh, bladder problems. Because you can't push your urine. I told you about the mm, information correct, correct. from the brain, yes, yes. the reflex. Yes, yes. When your bladder feels, you can't feel. You just, just feel contractions, you feel you sweat, you feel restless, but the bladder is full. So you either use a catheter, or you must be on diapers. Mm -hmm. And if that urine burns you also, you have pressure so. If you don't take enough water, because you must take at least three liters of water every day, at least, 
to flush because you can't push mm. to flush. Mm -hmm. So the urine tries to get back. You get very bad urinary tract in infections. Normally it's women who get uh, bladder problems because mm -hmm. of their biological orientation. Correct, correct, yeah. But for people with disability, with spinal cord injuries especially, you are prone to that. So it's a very expensive life. It drains you every time you have to take your urine to the lab for assessment. You have to do physiotherapy. Uh, you must be on medication. You need a wheelchair. I couldn't afford that. But like I said, something that turned me around was my pastor, my wife, and the hope of my children. I'll surprise you that my children and my wife never see me as a person with disability. In fact, I forget until I'm stuck. Then they come. You know, what fascinates uh, me is your family stuck with you from Correct. very. From and, and your wife, you know. We hear stories of, hey, did someone, the, a man got an accident and the yes. wife ran away. The, the wife got an accident, yes. the man ran away. It happens. But you, your wife and your kids stuck with you. It happens. How, what did that mean for you? It, it meant a lot for me. I could say that was my stepping stone to being who I am today. And I had a choice of being bitter or being a better person. Bitter when or better. That's bitter like, or better. I like that. And I chose, just like a caterpillar. You know, a caterpillar goes through that process of metamorphosis, Correct. changing into a butterfly. Mm -hmm. I would have stuck and remained as a caterpillar, being angry with people, being angry with my boss, because he, he didn't even take me, he called me Kiwete. People staring, you know, sometimes for good reasons or bad reasons, you know, friends running away. But I chose because of, first of all, I didn't die. God spared my life. He gave me a second chance. And then there's my children, whom I never knew because of the pain I told you I went through. I never knew I actually would see my children. I thought I was dying. In fact, I would pray and tell God, take me. This is too much for me. Physical pain, emotional pain, psychological pain. And like, just like you mentioned, I have friends whom I know. Their wives walked away. Because when they married them, they didn't marry a person with disability. You can't control your toilet. You can't control your bladder. And much more for men, sexual function disappears. Because it, sex comes from the brain, mm -hmm. how you perceive for a man, how correct. you see. Yeah, correct. Okay? Men, they say, nikama jiko, lazima upepete. Okay? <laughs> so, because that communication is not there, there's nothing. It doesn't matter what you see. Now, for a woman to accept to stay with you in that condition, you know, first of all, sexual matters in an African concept are a taboo. We don't talk about mm. them. And when people say, I'm a man, you know what they mean. One of the, one of the yeah, is when they say your sexual yes, capacities. Yes. yes, when they bust around, I'm mm -hmm. a man, you know what they mean. Yes, it's correct. And many people go through depression because of sexual dysfunction. Some people because of diabetes, because of different uh, sicknesses and illnesses, and they feel lesser of people. And they get into depression and they commit suicide. If you look at the rates of suicide right now in Kenya, they are alarming. True. I, 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 want, I want to bring back this. I mean, uh, it's true there's, there is case of suicide and I don't want to downplay that. Yes. But I also want to ce celebrate the fact that, uh, you know, sex is important in a marriage. It is. is isn't it? it is. It and is. you say it you is. were only seven, eight years into marriage. Yes. You know? Yes. And I was in my 30s. In your, in, and you were in your 30s. Yes. Okay. Early 30s. And this means that you can no longer have sexual intercourse yes. with your wife. Yes. Right? Yes. Yes. But this woman sticks with you. She stuck with me. You wanted to have more children, but you could yes. not. Yes. Yeah. Right? You, you know, coming from an African family. Correct. People used to boast of their wealth depending on how many children they have uh, yeah, true. and the cattle they have. Mm -hmm. I came from a family of 10 people, 10 siblings from one. In fact, there were 12, two died. Okay, for now, I just lost my sister a month ago. I'm still grieving. My condolences. Yes. I'm sorry. So I, th I thought I would also have a big family. That, that's what I thought. Correct, correct, correct. And nothing wrong with that as long as you can take care of them. It is true. But God gave me two children. That was it. I could not sire any more children. And at some point, it was one of the things that was distressing me. But my wife would look at me and say, who gave birth to these children? Is it not you? Mm -hmm. You made me pregnant. Why are you not proud of me? I have never said any bad word to you. As long as you are alive, even if you are on a wheelchair and I can see you, you are a man. Because immediately you are not there, I'm a widow. There will be so many challenges. You know what happens with with the, some cultures mm. when women are left, Correct. you know, things are taken from them. Yes, Said, yes. As long as you're alive and you're there as a father, as a husband, I am proud of you. Now that gave me hope. That's powerful. That my woman loved me the way, that's why I call her black rose. Black rose is a very unique flower, very rare flower. I see people fighting in families because of small, small issues. I can, I can tell you, for me, I'm not saying that we don't have 
if I say that we okay, don't have yeah. differences, yes, I'll be correct. lying. Yes, correct. We've never fought with my wife. And our relationship became even stronger after this, despite the fact that I was arrogant to her because of the depression. She took me the way I am. And we are not just married, we are friends. Okay. I even, in my house, I would even take her dress and iron, even today. Not because she can, she can I'm just, it's a way of also saying, I appreciate you so much. Yeah. My wife would leave, leaves in the morning to go and work. Oh, she got some job that she does. I, I am doing counseling. I'm a pr in private practice. And I also have an organization called AFCA, mm -hmm. Ability Focus Kenya Association. You, you, you look at the words ability. I'm not focusing on disability. Correct, ability I'm focusing focus. on getting the best out of the little abilities that you have. Mm. What can you do with the abilities that you have? So that is my turn, turning point for, for that. And what also helped me is accepting my new life. Because when I stuck in accepting that, in, in believing that I will walk one day and things, and I went to crusades. I'm a Christian, like I said. Even one day I was left at the Benihin crusade with my mm -hmm, friend mm -hmm. who took me there. Then we didn't have mobile phones. If you can remember when Benihin came to Nairobi, mm, yes, University, yes. maybe you might have been I think it was 98? Yeah, no, no, not 90. Maybe uh, two, 2000? 2000 or something, 99 yeah. or 2000, oh, around there. Maybe no. 99. I was, in, I was in form one then. Yes. Mm. I, I just come from hospital. Mm -hmm. So it was a big ground. I was left there. And the, the guy joked. He said, Nitakuacha kwa sababu utatembea. Because I believe in miracles. But I said, but you are driving. So why are you going with the car? Because you can also tembea. The guy left. I have learned the power of forgiveness also. It has really happened. The power of forgiveness brings a lot of hope. So we had to go home in a police vehicle. Mimi sijawai bebo anagaria polisi. Maisha yangu. Lakini tulikuwa hatuna pesa, tumewachua watu watu wameenda, I was staying in Eruta to town. That Peter thing almost came, I said, I forgave no. him. Correct, correct. So with my wife, because of accepting me, I have friends whose wives, have husbands left. have mm -hmm. left them. And, and mm -hmm. they have not survived. I told you that the statistics of death is, but hope. Mm -hmm. And for me, one thing also that has another thing. As we conclude. Uh, don't allow the world to define you. Correct. God has already defined me. I am fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of God. Amen. Secondly, it's never too late to begin again. I had to begin life from scratch. And family is very, very important. Mm -hmm. Social support for anybody who is recovering from any loss. Mm -hmm. Very, very important. I absolutely Please, agree. if you have issues at home, mend them. Mm. Come on, go back. I know men don't like saying I'm sorry to their women. But what, do, what, is it, what does it take? Correct, does it change, change me? I say sorry so many times. And this mm. is the hope that I have to do. That's why I've come up with this Ability Focus Kenya, to try and help people like me. People with spinal cord injuries. People with spinal cord injuries mm. who are going through depression mm. and uh, have bad relationships with the family. To turn them around, mm -hmm. to tell them that there is hope. Even when a tree is cut, it shall sprout again. Job 14 verse 7. Amen. You know? Thank you so much. Thank I you. appreciate it. Yes. And uh, I want to read a few comments here as, as we finish up. And when I come back, I would like uh, you to just to say possibly maybe a, a word or two. Uh -huh. To just uh, maybe in 30 seconds, you... Mention something maybe to people who have uh, spinal cord injuries, okay. uh, who, have go, who have gone on experience like yours. Mm. Uh, what, what maybe, of course, the whole story has been a message. It, it uh? is also oh, really okay. It's, okay it's, yeah. Everything you, me you mentioned has been a message. Mm. Uh, it has been inspiration and all. Mm. Uh, I just want you to like direct this direct you now to them, mm. and then uh, and then we conclude. Correct. But right now, let me give it to Chris Judah to give us a performance so that we can come back and close it up. Judah, let's go. step in a jewel konami mimi sina wasi wasi baba na jewel konami at yesu na jewel konami kila step in a jewel konami tangu nikujue baba umenibadilisha umenikamilisha umeniboresha eh 
Tangu ni okoke baba Ume ni badilisha Ume ni kamilisha Ume ni boresha Nukoe baba hey. Mimi ni kigoa straight Mini times I am betrayed Lakini kwa kwa mini na stay Nile sometimes baba Mimi ni kigo astray Many times I am betrayed Lakini kwa kwa mini na stay So sina wasi wasi Baba najua uko nami Ati yesu najua uko nami Kila step ni najua uko nami Ati mimi sina wasi wasi Baba najua uko nami Yesu najua uko nami Kila step ni najua uko nami Milima na mabonde Nimepitia baba Shida kona zote Zilikuwa zimenizuhia Nilijana maswali moyoni Hakukuwa waku nitibu Lakini yesu wau nilitibu Nile sometimes baba Mimi nikigo aswe Many times I am betrayed Lakini kwa kwa mini na stay Nilewe sometimes baba Mimi nikigo aswe Many times I am betrayed Lakini kwa kwa mini na stay So sina wasi wasi Baba najua uko nami Ya Yesu najua uko nami Kila step ni najua uko nami Mimi sina wasi wasi Baba najua uko nami Yesu najua Mimi najua uko na mimi Mimi najua uko na mimi Thank you so much Chris Judah It's powerful you're enjoying this music? Correct. Very it's powerful, right? I will invite them to my function. Absolutely. Even to my church. Absolutely. Yeah. Chris, uh, yeah. I mean, how, how was it for you listening to Mr. Richard today? I've noticed by the way that some problems I had and I thought I had in my life. <laughs> <laughs> they are kind of good. <laughs> and it's, 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 it's marvelous. It's, how mm. it's, mm. And it's beyond what. Absolutely. Uh, I've listened to his story and I was like, mm. there's some things have gone backyard and I'm telling God why have you not done this and this and I think his story is like a lesson to my life. It's powerful isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Before you react to God mm -hmm. this, is, this is the response uh -huh. you know the importance of response before God is very important. Absolutely. And that's why I was closing with this song as we were saying Mimi uh -huh. I want you even as after, after this uh, before, uh, as we as we close <coughs> it up just continue that song as we close it up I'll tell uh -huh. you when to go on but uh -huh. just introduce your the guitarist, he has not had a chance to yeah. introduce him because he doesn't have a mic with him. <laughs> so, um, his name is Bidan. Uh -huh, Bidan. And I've been with Ziki for some time. Awesome. He's a great friend uh -huh. uh, from our father, Masanga. Ah, okay. Yeah, Perfect. That's, where, uh, yeah, no, Chris, that's our home. <laughs> ah, correct. That's it. Now, yeah. just uh, quickly, where, where someone who wants to follow you, you know, find your music? Yeah. Chris Judah, every platform, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Man, thank Just you for you. coming to my show. Thank you so and, much. And uh, as, as I said, as we finish, we can, we can go back to, to that song. Okay. Uh, there are a few comments that have come in. I'd like just to, just to read them, Kidogo. Miracles do happen in miraculous way. For instance, I have lip, lip sync, and when I was in high school, I was in sana. Eman James, thank you so much. Si sote hatuwezi kuwa sawa kimtu na ule ana ulemavu na kasoro yake usichekele mwenziwe ujui yako ya kesho. Kweli kabisa. Sana James. Mm. Mungu hawezi mwacha mja wake anayekudharau siku moja atakusalimia kwa heshima wasikate tama Mungu yupo. Nashukuru sana again. Kweli. Uh, Eman James, Eric Koth, tuned in from Assembo. Thank you so much for watching. So asante ni sana. Uh, God is there for everyone. Yeah, 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 Victor I had read that. So I want to thank you for making to come to my show. But before we close it up, uh. I want you to give me 30 seconds or so. As uh. a maximum, I'm told we need to finish up. To say a message directly to someone who is at that stage uh. where you do not want even Bright to speak to you. Correct. You know? Yeah. 
and also maybe a message to those who have who are like Jen correct who have to stop their lives somehow in order to take care of people they love correct so maybe you can look at that camera 3 and say yeah. something yeah i i want to tell people that this world has a lot of challenges and problems and challenges are inevitable as long as you're alive you will go through challenges but you must have a attitude of positive positivity okay wake up in the morning and say this is the day that the lord has made i will rejoice and be glad it and take the best out of they say when they give you lemon make lemonade out of it try to make the best out of the situation i would choose to sit back and cry and blame everybody but i chose to flip it around instead of getting stuck into a caterpillar i chose to be a butterfly so that i can fly and reach my ambitions and to tell people who are going through a situation like mine that it's a stage it's a stage the great thing is that god helped you that you're alive life is a gift celebrate it because you don't have two lives unless you're living this world when you go if you're born again you'll go to the other world but so that's very important but as long as you're here celebrate every moment that has that god has given you okay. and know that uh, as you go through this rehabilitation many people are watching you because it, this is, did not just happen for me now i'm able to come here and share my story of hope to other people and tell them there is hope secondly for people like jane my wife who my treasure very much and i talk about my wife without feeling embarrassed anywhere i go she's dark and beautiful she is dark inside and outside that at the moment of need she reached out to me and that's how we need to reach out to any other people around look at your environment in your house in your family in your community somebody is going through something what are you doing about it let us not be only people who stare or wait to see what happens let's be people who offer solutions because we are told there are people who wonder what is going on there are people who uh, are part of the solution so i became part of the solution what about you mm. there is something that you can do however small <laughs> your story may not be like mine but there are losses there are pains there are challenges there are people losing jobs there are young people without jobs going on drugs and things like that there are people who cannot sit together in a family because pesa itoshi na itatosha itatosha kama you see somebody beyond okay. the money so god loves you god gave me a second chance god has given you a second chance what are you doing with it thank you so much Amen. i appreciate thank you so Richard much Bukachi. Thank, you, thank you sir it's been powerful thank you sir i don't want to add uh, anything extra to what richard bukachi has mentioned i hope you have been inspired by his story and i hope if you have someone that uh, is living with disability that you're taking care of don't leave them alone love them like jen his wife you know black uh, rose as well has been able to stand by richard i want to thank you all who have been part of my show those who have uh, sent your comments your greetings where you are tuned in from thank you so for, so much for being part of the part talk show we'll continue sharing stories of hope and encouraging each other because well that is what this world is all about i want to thank also my guest uh, artist chris juda with his uh, with the guitarist bidan Thank you so much for being part of the show. I also want to thank the crew of the of the Power Talk show. Thank you so much and God bless you. Have a good night. See you sometime. Thank you for having me. Perfect. So I'll close up with a song called Ntegemenani. Ntegemeo, gemeo. Ntegemenani. Nimkimbilienani. Neno lako nita mashani mwangu hey Neno lako ni nuru nuru gizani Nimtegemeenani kama si we Nimkimelienani kama si we Neno lako nita tamashani mwangu we eh neno lako ni nuru nuru gizani eh tegemeo egemeo langu ni we tegemeo egemeo langu ni we na kukimbilia tegemeo langu ni we na kukimbilia tegemeo langu ni we oh 
tegemeo egemeo langu niwe why 254 ima